Heartland Coast Guard. This is Ilfracum Radio, following received from SS Cambyses, 3 X-ray Jig Nan at 0915 GMT. Mayday, Cambyses, don't know exact position, believe northwest of Lundy Island. Engines broken down, drifting in gale, require immediate assistance, ends Ilfracum Radio. I've received that okay. I've informed Westwood Ho. Life saving flash call. Westwood Ho Coast Guard, please. The Westwood Ho Coast Guard is running up the storm comb when the message comes through from Heartland. He telephones at once to the secretary of the nearest lifeboat in the area. A lifeboat secretary's job everywhere is an honorary one. And here he is the harbour master too. Appledore lifeboat secretary. Yes, I've got that. Drifting. There's a three knot tide out there. On the flood now, as well as the wind. When did you get the message? A few minutes ago. A few minutes ago. You advise launch? Yes, we'll launch and search that area. moments after the firing of the Maroons, the Appledore crew have assembled and are rowing out to the lifeboat. She lies afloat in the smooth waters of the estuary, sheltered from the raging seas outside. Covers are removed. The engines started, the moorings cast off. And seconds later, the lifeboat is heading down the estuary towards the treacherous harbour bar and the open sea. in his office, Captain Brennan stands by for further messages. All the time his boat is at sea, the secretary must be on call. While he waits, he studies the chart, visualizing the area where the lifeboat will be searching. A tiny dot in the wide and menacing sea. You have a new position? Yes, that sounds as if the wind and tide have taken a much further up channel. 
Yes, probably the Minehead area. Ask the radio to recall our boat. Thank you. You're gonna get in touch with the Minehead boat yourself. 